Shed season 2024 is here. Braden and I just wrapped up a killer shed trip looking for elk sheds and we have a bunch of great content coming your way. We've teamed up with Sheep Feet and we're doing a whole bunch of giveaways this year. Getting your entries is simple. There's no purchase necessary. All you have to do is make sure you're following both Braden and I on social media as well as Sheep Feet and then tag us in your shed photos using hashtag shed crush and that will get you entered into win. After this video series airs, we're gonna give away a marsupial gear bino harness, a set of sheep feet, and also swag from each of us. Good luck, hopefully you guys crush it this year. Use hashtag shed crush. Hope you enjoy the videos. Guys, I have huge news, some of the best news ever. As you can tell, I have camp on my pack and me, Chag, and Eric headed down to the base camp. Shout out to those guys, super excited to collab this year. Go check them out, obviously Hushin um, and Chag Outdoors, but I'm starting the trip with a freaking bang, like an absolute bang. So I've been kind of zigzagging down this ridge. I honestly had no idea there's bull track. Like, it's hard to tell. There's either bull tracks or maybe like one littler bull with a whole herd of cows. And I look down right below me um, with my head down, look to the left and just, whew, you guys ready to see this? Yeah, let me hurry. There you go. Boom. My first browns of 20, oh, one sec, sorry. My first browns of 2024. And it's a freaking sweet set. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> Look at how they are sitting. There is no way. Oh my gosh. Just a beautiful bull. And this is kind of what I'm looking at. Like little, little crap. This looks so fake right now. I can't believe it. Insanely thankful and happy about that one. But I'm definitely going to get a pickup. But just enjoy that for a second of how that is laying. That is exactly what you want to see and what you want to find. So, absolute banger start. Right there. First brownies of 2024. And I got two of them. Oh my heck. I just want you guys to enjoy that for a sec, how I am. Beautiful thirds, cool curvy points. <laughs> Look at it in such a random little bottom. Let's get the pickup. The moment everyone cares about and dreams about. Um, I got them, got them matched up on the old Scout to Hunt app. Just put some weight points down. And like I said, I'm pretty much up to three so far this trip. Left a chalker, but let's pick them up. First Browns. I haven't even touched them. What is this life that I'm living? I'm so blessed and so happy. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful six point, not broken anywhere. Just a amazing bull. I love how the front curves like that. And then, boom, this simple. If the people start, if Eric and Chag start talking, don't mind them, but look at that. <laughs> Oh, these colors on these horns are beautiful. They're not really dense. They're kind of just solid, but look at the fronts, how they curve like that. Such a sweet bowl. Super happy you made them easy. Made it easy for me. But dang, life is but a dream, and 
got to chase that dream because a dream won't chase you unless you chase it. So I'm super excited, super thankful. Get out here. Dude, I love and start the year off amazingly. But holy crap. <laughs> what a sweet, sweet bull. Awesome. Well, now we're going to strap him to the pack. And I think I'm honestly, I'm not too far from the pack, from camp, I meant. So I'm going to leave these right here and just kind of start zigzagging a little bit. Might as well. I think it's going to be a good little pocket in here. Horns, antlers are strapped down and I'm sweaty as crap. So we're just gonna try to push through this thick brush, head back to camp and show old Eric and Chag what I found and see what they found. But great start. Next time you see me, I'm gonna be at camp setting it up and then I'm probably gonna head back over here, maybe for tonight, but I might just relax, so we'll see. Welcome to my my video, Chag. What you have to say? Are we on? You're on, dude. Oh, dang, I'm the only one without a brown. <laughs> Braden found that sweet set, and Eric just left camp while we we're pitching our tent and glassed up a brown right out of camp. So we're getting into him. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good one. There's that old set there, Chag. Just set up the peak tent. Pretty dope. But yeah, like you guys, or like Chag said, Eric glassed a brownie, so there's going to be a few more of these bad boys. Guaranteed, Chag is going to find 360 or bust tonight. <laughs> That's a guarantee, dude. We only have an hour and a half, two hours to do it, but he's going to do it. So, no, either way, out here with the homies, going to be fun. Let's go find them. Yeah. Look at that the money. Cool trip. Yeah, other than like in a hotel or something. Chag made it back. Got the water. That's about it. I found the stash pile, so I grabbed some because I might take them. What does he have, though? Dude, what does the EC, the EC money have, dude? Is it good? I found your chalk pile. I had to grab them. You've done it, dude. Oh, you found <laughs> a match, huh? Yeah, match that first one. Dude. Brown town. Yeah, just solid bowls. That's what's up. <sighs> Both, Dang, they're God. all about the same, huh? Yeah, just, identical. which is good that they're shed, yeah, right? Good job, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, there's some big ones somewhere. Dude, Dang. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> 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 right. Dude, Shall I can't I even see it. you guys over there. No, dude. <laughs> Trying to build a fire, I'm struggling. It's hard. It's wet. It is wet. There was, there was like a flurry of snow earlier today. <sighs> Dude, this is the first time both y'all have ever been on my channel, dude. What do you have to say? Are we on the crit? You're on the your big time. BTC, crit dude, Bitcoin channel. <laughs> yeah, the Bitcoin. <laughs> What's up, guys? This EC, you already know him. Have you made it on your channel before? I don't think so, dude. You just don't even talk about me. You just you all shed the fam. Yeah. I haven't been on your channel yet. You have, I think, just last random. last debut. season maybe. Oh, the scouting video too. Oh me. yeah, yeah. It's a debut of the EC though. But as a collaboration of the three of us first. And that's what's up. EC already found some brownies. I'll have to show you those a little bit, but finally getting the fire started. He's having him peak. Me and Chag are just gonna cook us up kind of like a brat type thing or whatever sausage. Good morning. How'd you sleep over there, huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. A little tossing and turning, but that's about how it always is on the mountain. Oh, oh, Eric's over there popping a top again, <laughs> and I'm about to do the same. But you popping a top again? Oh yeah, I started, dude. I broke into my energy drink. <laughs> this is this is what we got. Oh, it's dirty. Then we're gonna find probably, all the sheds. Probably not good for you to immediately <laughs> drink an energy drink as soon as you open your eyes. What do you do? Oh man. Oh well. Addiction. Addictions is real been walking in this little bottom thing. Happened to glance over and I see something laying here. 
and it's a shed. It might be brownie, I can't tell. It's actually way better shaped than I thought. Look at that. That's cool. That's good to know though. I think it's just a really good hard white. Yeah, it is. Wind this out a little bit. Still a dense piece of bone. Actually in good shape, really good shape. Just kind of chewed on. I literally just strapped this on. <laughs> and I looked up and I see a big old coos deer shed. And it looks pretty dang big. First coos of the year. Dang. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. If that's a coos shed, that's huge. Like actually huge. Huh. Holy, that's definitely a coos. <laughs> what the? Hard white. That is a ginormous coos deer. Look at the mass on that thing. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to get too excited over these things because I don't know many. I found a few last year, but look at that thing. That is a big old gnarly coos deer. I'd love to match that thing up. <laughs> Want to be little kickers everywhere. Sorry, I won't focus. Come on, there you go. Last year's horn for sure. Dang, son. I'll take that every day. I was walking right here, happened to look over, see some big old deer parts of a dead buck, and then I happened to look down. Got a deadhead muley right here, and where we are, we can actually take them, so I'll see if it stinks or whatnot, and see if I want to take it. Pretty sweet buck, though, for sure. Looks like there's not many muleys in this country. Whoa. Yeah, dang, solid frame buck. Here it is. It's not a bad buck at all. Unfortunately, I can't get this thing to break off of it, so I have to take the whole carcass, and I'm just not going to do that. So I guess I'm just going to leave it here to have its peace in this little canyon bottom. And yeah, it's starting to hail a little bit. It's freaking beautiful up here, like always. But I figured I'd show you guys. Fortunately, can't get it. And it's not time for it to shed, so it'll stay right here. You guys are in my pack for a good reason. My camera is, I mean, it's gnarly right now. And I was eating down there a little ways. <laughs> I was coming through and I have a brown. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. Right there. Let me put it in my three time. Boom. what's up let's go over there and check him out nice freaking sixer that's what's up that looks so dang cool in the snow like that dang yeah beautiful bull beautiful bull <laughs> he's got the mass son 
Dude, I'm so freaking pumped. It's crazy because I was eating down right there. And this nice six brown was just sitting right here. I need to match that sucker up. I think it probably is somewhere in here, but it almost looks like a seven point. That might just, oh, oh, it goes forever, son. It's a freaking seven, I think, but I'm going to get my big camera out and get a pickup of this sucker. Gotta put my gloves on. It's cold one. All right. Let's freaking pick this chunker up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. That is a freaking chunk. Chunker of an elk shed. Look at this. That is what's up. Bloody sun. Dang, guys. That's sick. Try to get close. <laughs> there, he's honestly pretty light. But look at that freaking six point. Seven point. Actually, barely. <laughs> That's why you guys got to keep on hiking in crappy weather because there's always bones that are going to be sticking out. So this thing, his other side has to be somewhere here close. So like you guys have seen, I'm just going to drop my pack like normal and just start freaking zigzagging. But holy crap. I hope those guys are getting into something. But I honestly think the bulls are up higher than we all thought. Eric found a few browns down low-ish, but still, I have a really good feeling that it was just a weird year and they're all super high. But take a look at that sucker. Dang! That's a big old burger. Look at that thing. <laughs> Broken second, too bad. Now I gotta go freaking down and get my hat. It's way down to the bottom, but that, that's what's up. That's what's freaking up. Holy crap, I thought this was a chalk someone put here, but it's actually a nice six point hard white. <laughs> How crazy is that? Been zigzagging for quite a while. Dang, beautiful bull. See, doesn't that look like someone would have sat that there? But it's a hard white, so that makes me feel like nobody did. It might not be a hard white. It might be a little older. So someone could have set that there, but I don't know. Either way, I'm grabbing it. That thing is freaking beautiful. I don't know how it got in there. Huh. Either way, my brown was right over there. And yeah, this is in good shape, so I'm taking it. Oh, it's pretty cool. It has a little extra I'm trying to grow just so I can get it, but... We'll take that. I mean, it's in really good good shape. Huh. I just have a feeling someone put it there, but maybe they didn't. I mean, it's kind of a solid horn. I don't know why people would put that there. So it might be just the craziest ATL in the world. This horn's a lot smaller than it looks in the wide angle. Probably around 300. But just a beautiful bull. Dang good color on the back. <laughs> I'm actually probably 100 yards from where that brown is, so I'm gonna take this back to the pack, get out of this freaking hot suit, because the sun's finally coming out. It's a, freaking, it's a beautiful day now, but that's what's up. Super rad. Got everything on the old pack. I want to film on my big camera, but of course now the weather's is fine. But here is the load. Just got to go straight up this sucker, and then I'm just gonna drop them up off, drop them off at the top, and then go back to camp. So, dang solid day though so far.
Yeah, lemonade.